y'all um so this is honestly going to be a quick fast in a hurry video this is impromptu as hell but i have not filmed in forever because i've been so fucking busy with work that i am just haven't had time haven't had time i do want to say that Rochelle won my face story giveaway. Congratulations, girl. I will be sending out your prize very, very soon. And it is gonna be like an ongoing thing because I am gonna start getting two face story subscriptions every month so I can have someone to share with me every month. Anyway, I only have about, God, this is so bright. I only have about 30 minutes to get ready. So this is gonna be my quick fast in a hurry. I need to look cute, but I also ain't got time to play around and do a whole new makeup eye look or whatever. Um, lashes probably is not gonna happen because, ooh, lashes and quick and me in the same sentence just, just doesn't happen. I'm dropping stuff all over the place. Find a primer I like. I don't know what the hell I did with my backup primer even though it is on its last leg. Oh, here it is okay I've been trying I've been using the Givenchy one and it sucks I'm almost at the end of it I've just been using it I've been mixing it with um, my Urban Decay All Nighter foundation because that that foundation is so thick I love it but it's so thick and it's so full coverage that I just cannot wear it on its own and my Becca is on its last leg like you you ever have you know how you got to fold um, toothpaste to get it to come out, that's, that's the level I'm on right now with this Becca. So I need a new uh, primer. The Givenchy sucks. It's the same price as the Becca. I just don't like it as much. I don't feel like it does enough. I don't feel like it feels in my pores. And I'm just gonna be honest, I don't feel like anything feels in my pores, honestly. But, and I got new lights, so I don't know if I'm more yellow. I don't know. I don't know if I'm more yellow with the new lights because they're not the right lights. So anyway, I also have this Dr. Brandt pours no more crap. Sucks. Sucks. I don't like it. Um, I mean, I use it just so I can have something, a barrier on my face. I'm going to put it on top of this of this one just to see if it does something but yeah like I said I really don't have any kind of foundation that fills in my pores for long I mean it, it says I mean it looks like it in the beginning and then once I put foundation on it's just over so yeah this is gonna be quick as hell because I just need to have foundation on I just want to I have a new purple wig and I feel like I look really weird when I wear it without makeup on. So that's why. Oh, I look so yellow. It could be these new lights. And if it looks really yellow, I'm really sorry. I'm still trying to get my lighting together. I actually want to get nice lighting, but mm, that costs money. And that's money I don't have. So I'm really trying to play with the bulbs. Where's my eyebrow pencil? I'm really trying to play with the bulbs and see how I can make it look better. So I really hope that it looks good. And if it doesn't, I'm gonna try to fix it like in editing and stuff. I'm using the NYX brow pencil. I use the color Espresso. Most of the time I take on my face when I'm doing quickly is the brows because that honestly is the most important part if we're being honest. And I'm still trying to get better at doing my brows because I still kind of suck at it. I have good days and then I have really bad days. Like, holy crap, what were you doing? But last night was a really good day, so I'm gonna try to recreate that. But I also had more time, so I'm just gonna be quiet. I'm probably gonna speed through this process and then I'll come back to you after I'm done. All right, we're back. I can turn my light off now. And all I'm gonna do is just blend in this concealer. So the concealer I use to clean up my brows is the Wet n Wild 
photo focus concealer this is the darkest color they have this is in dark cocoa it is really not that dark like it's really not that dark at all but i like using it underneath my eyes so there we go and i'm trying to i'm trying to get better at doing my brows i just ugh. Like I said, some days I'm really good and then some days I am really bad, but I feel like I did good today. I'm trying to do that um, feathery stuff in the front. Yeah, anyway, okay, so foundation I've been loving is this Fiona Styles Matte Finish. Oh wait, let me put my powder on. I do powder before foundation, which I should have done before, but whatever. Powder before foundation. And if you see me looking like really dry and ashy or whatever, that is the the Becca found Becca primer because that's just what it does. So you should never use that primer if you are not going to put on any kind of liquid foundation to kind of blend it out because it will look atrocious. You will look dry and cakey, like a witch or something. I don't know. Anyway, on to this Fiona Styles Matte Finish Foundation. I am so upset because I, ha I got this a long time ago when it was on sale at Ulta. All of Fiona Styles stuff was on sale at Ulta. It was, uh, I got other stuff. I didn't like it. I didn't like her eyebrow pencil. I didn't really like her eyeshadow quads. Um, she has a lip pencil. Is it in here? I don't even think I put it in my drawer. She has like a lip pencil thing that i didn't like it just just wasn't good i didn't like it so only thing i did like was this foundation and now it's not a freaking ulta it is not on her website she said you can on her website it directs you to go to ulta and it's not on ulta anymore so i went to her facebook no i went to her instagram and she said that she's trying to think of you know a different avenue to go for you know for her stuff because she puts her hard work into it and she wants to have it out and all that kind of stuff blah 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 blah, blah. i just need her to come back out with it because <laughs> because it's amazing it is amazing like i just it is the perfect color for me it blends in beautifully. It has pretty decent coverage. I don't really have to blend it up. I've kind of been going for, you know, medium coverage lately. I don't necessarily need a whole lot of coverage. Just not my thing right now. I'm kind of okay with letting some of my skin show through and then concealing where I need to. So. I just don't I don't understand and now it looks really red for some reason maybe because I'm so ashy from that from that uh primer but I don't know I don't understand I just really hope that she comes back out with it because it is such a dope foundation I love that it blends in really well and that it stays really well on my skin and I don't have to worry about it like oxidizing it doesn't do that it doesn't break up on my skin which is a feat because I have extremely oily skin so stuff breaks up on me a lot if it's not any of my tried and true like my Maybelline Fit Me, my MAC Mash Master, any of that kind of stuff it breaks up on me so quick so I just need her to come on back out with it fam just find an avenue hell if also didn't work do Sephora well maybe she don't want to do that um beautylish something I don't know so I'm gonna go under my eyes with that wet and wild primer again I mean um, concealer again I usually use my real technique sponges but they are literally all dirty 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 and my beauty blenders dirty so I gotta wash those and I just didn't feel like doing it right now I don't have time to do it so that's why I'm using all brushes to kind of like blend in my stuff but it is definitely not my preferred method and I really want to try that L'Oreal sponge that's out because Jessica from Jam Beauty 86 I think is her 
is the numbers on her name. She said that the L'Oreal sponge is even better than the Real Techniques and it's even better than her Beauty Blender. Now, I already love the Real Techniques better than the Beauty Blender. I feel like it is like equal, if not better quality for half the price. Like, the only reason I bought that Beauty Blender is because it was the other Beauty Blender is because it was nude and I was like, oh, that's cute or whatever. I just have a different color. But honestly, I don't really have to ever buy another Beauty Blender in my life. What time is it? Ah! Okay, so I am losing time, talking too much. So I'm gonna prime my eyes. My go-to look when I wanna look cute, but not necessarily wanna spend a lot of time on my makeup is brows for sure. Like brows have to be done. Like there is no face without brows. Brows. Um, foundation and for my eyes I do one color I do a big fluffy brush and one color on my on my eyes and it just depends on how I'm feeling that day so for today I'm gonna use my Vizzy art palette which is right here my dark mattes this is amazing if you've never ever ever tried the dark mattes before I highly suggest you do I'm setting my primer with just a little translucent powder just a little bit and I don't know if I told you but the primer I used on my eyes which is amazing under the holy grail this is the Milani eyeshadow primer it is so good and it's really cheap so you ever find a youtuber and you just want to watch all of their videos because you love their personality so much. I just recently found one. So I'm going to use this color right here. I'm just putting it all over my lid. Blend it up into the crease, all that. Um, I can't remember her name. She says her name so fast. But I found her from Jen Loves Reviews, her channel. I found her from there. And she was like, she's amazing. She does all this different kind of content. And first of all, what drew me to her is because she's a black woman. And another thing that drew me to her is that she cusses a lot. And that's not honestly something you see in normal cookie cutter YouTube beauty land. You don't see a lot of people who curse because I guess, you know, they want to, I don't know, appeal to everyone or whatever, whatever, whatever. So, yeah, because I even try to not curse in my videos. For real, for real, because, you know, you never know if a mom is watching with her child or she just got it on in the kitchen. Anyway, anyway, she doesn't care. She doesn't care, and in the beginning, she goes ahead and says, you know, gives a warning. Explicit language is used. Did I just spit on myself? Explicit, <laughs> explicit language is used. Not suitable for children, whatever. Um, she's a black woman that lives in New York, and she works in the entertainment industry. I'm really not sure um what because she doesn't say and that's her right to not say but her name is makeup struggles on here she has so many different youtube i mean so many subscribers so you probably have heard of her before but i'm just discovering her and i love her she is not like this cookie cutter person she is not like the typical have a candle in the background like my ass but i really put on that candle because i love candles it just happens to be there. <laughs> she's not like, you know, she's not that. She films on her Samsung phone. So she doesn't have like a fancy DSLR or, or 60D or nothing like that. Like she just keeps it real and I love her so much. She wears big hoops like me. So I identify with her on that. I just love her. She's just awesome. She's amazing. I just, I have been watching her videos. She is, I feel like she's my friend. Like, I love her so much. I would love to meet her if I ever visited New York again. Girl, if you're watching this, we have to hook up when I come to New York. She doesn't know who I am. I have like a measly 1,700 subscribers. She's, she doesn't know who I am. But if you happen to ever see me, I, I would love to see or hang out with you. Um, so I'm going to be, I just tight line and do my waterline. This is the Rimmel Scandalize liner because I can't find my holy grail bare minerals one so 
So the majority of my time I took was on my brows, which that is normal, that is what's gonna happen. I've been inspired by her anti-hauls to talk about stuff I'm not gonna buy. One of the things I'm not gonna buy is any of the stuff that I've seen come out for Colourpop and Sephora collection. Like, I haven't seen anything that I want. Like, nothing. Um, let me set my face. Set my face. Oh, I put stuff back where they're supposed to be and then I don't know where they are because they're back in their regular place and not just strewn all over my table like I normally do. Anyway, this is the, what is this? <clears throat> Mineralized Skin Finish from MAC. This is the dark deep color. I was using the, this is the Maybelline Fit Me powder in 40 is the dark one it's a new one that they got um that came out and i just feel like it is entirely too red for my face like anytime i look at myself in the mirror and look at my skin after i set my face with that i just feel like it's just too much it's just it was just too red i looked i don't know really i don't mm -mm. it was just not my color so I'm gonna see, I was using a hella old, which I should, I'm gonna throw away, but I was using a hella old um, Maybelline, no, MAC Mash Master foundation, which is kind of red to begin with. So it could have been that, like in compared, like together. So I'm gonna see again if it's that foundation and the powder together, or if it's just the powder in general. I'm going in with the Essence Lash Princess um, Volume Mascara. This is the pink one. Sam, what is her name? Sam, Samantha Jane YT loves this mascara. It's actually not that bad. I have really, really short lashes, so it's really only so much mascara can do for me. I have found that the it's one MAC mascara that makes my lashes look so long. It is, what else? I like the Clump Crusher from CoverGirl. I like, there's a long comb one. Matter of fact, I think I still have it. Yeah. The Monk Home Definiseals High Definition Mascara. This is old as shit. I need to get rid of it. But this mascara is um, does really good on my lashes. Oh, Jordana's mascara does good on my lashes. So it's not, but it's only so much they can do. Like, like I don't know if you can see. Let's see. I don't know if you can tell at all, but I I put last I put mascara on this on this eye, and then there's no mascara on this eye. Like still, even so, with mascara on, there's only so much I can do. But I mean, this seems to be okay. It doesn't clump up or anything. I actually see a little bit of length, even though this is a volumizing mascara. I do see a little bit of length in it, and it makes my lashes visible. So you know. It's all right. I did like the, what is the mascara that everybody's talking about right now? The L'Oreal one, Total Paradise, Lash Paradise one in the pink tube. I did like that. It does dry out super quick, which is disappointing because I only like it once it starts to dry out a little bit. Once it gets a little drier is when I actually start to like it. And then after that, you got maybe a month and then it's gone. So that sucks, but I do really like that one too. So I just, they're yeah, all right. I need something on my inner corner. I'm gonna take this ColourPop bronzer in Bay Area. I think I put this in my, yes, yeah, in my highlight video. But anyway, yeah, the ColourPop from Sephora was, was anyone else disappointed? Because I was hella disappointed. I was expecting like amazing stuff. I do really want that palette that they came out with for the holidays. I want that one. Hell yeah. But I don't know if I'm gonna get it or not. Because broke and I gotta buy stuff 
for the holidays, like Christmas presents. So I don't know if I'm gonna get it or not, but it is super pretty. And that is the type of content or that is the type of stuff I was actually expecting to find at Sephora with them. But no, it's just this all shimmery palette and these ugly glosses and I just, mm, I don't know. I wasn't a fan at all. Okay, so let's go, let's use the same thing, multitasking. I'm making good time actually. I don't necessarily like a lot of highlights at work. I mean, I can wear, I can do it, but I don't necessarily have to have it. I just want it visible. And I know people hate nose highlight. I don't care. I love it. I hate the lip mustache highlight. Ooh. I hate it so bad, so much. Um, another favorite of mine has been this blush. This is by La Femme. This is their Sienna blush. And I know it doesn't look like a lot in the pan, but it's just a nice natural blush that I can put on with any kind of look. And it just, or like a light look like this. And it just gives me a flush of color and it just looks really pretty on my skin. What is that? What is that? Ugh. This is what happens when you do your makeup too quickly. Stuff gets on your face. But yeah, it just gives a nice flush. And I love it. It's super pretty. And it doesn't look like a lot, but it does just enough. And that's exactly what I need most of the time. Because honestly, I'm not the biggest blush fan. I have all these other get it back out I have all these other pretty color blushes and I'm just not like all of these are blushes and I'm just not I'm just not I'm just not in the fan I'm mm -mm. give me the neutral ones please I was in a phase where I loved me an orange blush I would go hella hard for orange blush but now I'm just mm, I'll pass so for lips I'm gonna be at work so I really don't want a what is this? Oh, can we talk about how disappointed I am for these freaking no filter concealers from ColourPop? I ordered ColourPop recently. I am so upset by these because I was so excited. Everybody was talking about them and how awesome they are and they were always sold out. Finally got on there and they were sold. I mean, they were in stock, which is the only reason I really placed this freaking ColourPop order, if we're being serious. And these are so ashy. They're so, so ashy. And I need to wear these on a day where I'm not really doing much because I want to see how they actually look on my skin. But from swatches, they suck and I'm just not doing it. I'm just not, who is calling me? I'm just not, mm -mm, not gonna do it. So for lips, I'm trying to see if I want, do I want to go dark? I don't really want to, I don't want to do a matte lipstick because matte lipstick and work don't really go together. So do I have a dark gloss? Okay, never mind. I'm not going to go dark. I'm going to wear sepia, which is a beautiful new. Okay, that's what it looks like. It is gorgeous. So this is my, this is how my face looks. Am I in focus? This is how my face looks when I want to look cute and look like I have makeup or you know, look put together, but I don't really have a lot of time to do a lot of stuff. Although you guys probably feel like 30 minutes was a lot of time, but no, normally takes about an hour. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed these videos. Let me know what you guys think about the ColourPop and Sephora like collaboration because I think it sucks. Check out Makeup Struggles, she is awesome and I don't know, I just love her so much and I enjoy her videos a lot. And also let me know what you ain't buying down below because I would love to know what your anti-haul items are and I gotta get ready for work, so bye guys.